Hi guys, good morning. What are we gonna do today? I bet you can tell. We're gonna cover these cute little plastic boxes to make little containers for whatever you would like. Whether it's recipe cards, paint brushes, pens, straws, silverware, anything that you can think of that you might need to hold something fun. These are little uh, plastic brochure holders and I just happen to have a ton of them, but you can find these little plastic or clear containers in different shapes and sizes. And I'm just gonna show you the basics of how to decoupage and add things to them so that you can do them yourself. So let's get started. So I have a variety of kits, but you don't need to use those. You can just get the concept and the idea and do this yourself. In our little kit, we just have this plastic box and I'm just gonna show you the pieces. So first, I'm gonna cut these pieces out. If you didn't have this kit, just measure that and cut it a little bigger and then cut that out of paper and then measure what size this is and cut it out of paper. So I'm gonna cut these out real quick and then we're gonna glue them on. So I cut my pieces out and I'm just gonna lightly sand them. You don't need to do that. But I like it looking a little aged. I'm just using a little, um, a little gray ink, but you don't need to do this either, just to distress it a little bit. And I'm using just a slow gel matte medium. But you can use any type of Mod Podge, anything that dries completely clear. You could even use a glue stick, if as long as it dries clear. Front piece, I'm actually putting the glue on the front. It's in there, lay it down, press it in. And on this one, on the back piece, I'm gonna do it on the back side. So I have glue on there, and I'm just pressing it into here. I think the hardest part of this whole project was when I first did them, and I had to figure out the sizes. But if you're gonna do several, when after you've got the sizes figured out, it makes it a whole lot easier. And there we go. Now we can get started with the next part. So I'm just gonna hot glue this onto here, and you could probably use another glue. I found this works just fine, though, on this little metal tag, and I'm just putting just around this outside rim. I'm gonna press it on there for a second. And then I have this piece of card stuck, so I'm just gonna cut it to the correct size and do a cute tag and put it in there. So the tag that came with this kit was a, another Christmas one, so I'm just inking the edges just to distress it a little. Then I would do a little hole punch there perhaps or I could take whatever clip I want or a clothespin or something and pin it up here. I cut the little tag so now it fits in here. Stamp it on this little tag. But you could write words, just whatever you would like. And there you go, and now we can put something fun inside like, let's put a bunch of straws in here. How cute, you could put this up by your hot chocolate bar or cold drink bar and that would just be adorable. So the actual kits I have are gonna have Christmas images. I think we have six or seven different designs in there, but you can see the backgrounds you could still use and add a different tag to the front and a different word at the bottom and turn it into any type of a container or find some small plastic containers and just mod podge over them, add some cute paper, and you can fill them full of whatever you would like. Have fun.